Okay everyone, welcome back to CBD Yoga and Fitness and welcome back to Yoga for the Bros, the yoga series designed for men. My name is Mike. If it's your first time, dude, welcome. Today is episode 8 of Yoga for the Bros and today is a very special episode as we will be focusing a lot on the topic of depression and anxiety. So when you're ready, roll your mat, grab some water, and let's get started. Okay guys, so let's begin in a seated position with one foot in front of the other here. And take your time getting comfortable here so your hands, they can rest on your knees or they can rest in your lap. And feel free to close your eyes and just start to come back to your natural breath, not trying to breathe a certain way, not trying to judge your breath in any way. And just see if you can really tap into this moment Letting go of the day thus far. And as I mentioned in the intro, this is a very special episode here at CBD Yoga and Fitness and for Yoga for the Bros, as our intention will be focused on that of depression and anxiety. So it is a very heavy topic. And I really wanted to make this episode, especially going into the winter months, the darker months at the time of filming this, um, it can be a burden to us all. And I think we've all kind of suffered from depression and anxiety in some form or another along the lines. And I feel like there has been light shed on the topic and around man's mental health recently. I still feel like there is a long ways to go. And this yoga sequence in particular is just to help us kind of ground ourselves, help us relax, help us step away from the mind and into the body, if you will. So I really hope you guys enjoy the sequence. Feel free to come back to it whenever you are feeling anxious or you know a little sad whatever it is um but we'll begin the sequence now that we are in seated pose doing some pranayama breathing exercises so whenever i'm feeling anxious for me whenever i do some breathing exercises it really helps me kind of calm down and get back into my body and i find it really helpful so our first breathing exercise is just going to simply be noticing our breath so some of you may be already doing this but let's just fully come into a seated position and just notice your breath here see how you are breathing right now if you are anxious you may be breathing pretty fast and just notice it And then from here, we'll move into belly breathing. So as you inhale, let your belly expand. And as you exhale, let your belly draw in towards the spine. So you can place one hand on your belly if this helps. As we inhale, our belly expands. Exhale, our belly draws in. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly draws in. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly draws in. Do a couple more moving with your breath. And now from here, we'll move into three parts yogi breath. So as we inhale, our belly expands, our ribs expand, our chest expands. And as we exhale, we release our chest, ribs, 
belly draws in. And so let's do it all together here. So inhale, belly expands, ribs expand, chest expands, exhale, release chest, ribs, belly draws in. Inhale, belly expands, ribs expand, chest expands, exhale, release the chest, ribs, belly draws in, inhale, belly, ribs, chest, exhale, release chest, ribs, belly, Again, do a couple more, moving with your breath. Awesome job, you guys. Maybe you notice how you feel now, perhaps it's a little bit different, perhaps you're a little bit more calm, grounded. From here, we'll move into the, the poses now. So as we inhale, let's bring our hands up towards, our, up towards this guy, and exhale, twist gently to the right, bringing your right hand, right arm behind you, acting as a second spine, your left hand resting on your right thigh, just make sure you avoid the right knee, as we inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, gently twist. On your next exhale, come back to center. Again, let's inhale, lift both hands up. Exhale, take it over to the other side, twisting to the left. Left hand, left arm behind you, acting as a second spine. Right hand resting on your left thigh, avoiding the left knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. Exhale, come back to center. From here, let's make our way up into downward facing dog. So we take your time getting there. And in this down dog, make sure your fingers are spread wide, hands are actively pushing you into the mats. Feel free to pedal out your feet, it's really waking up and breathing into the back of your legs here. Again, coming back to your breath. And from here, let's just come into a nice neutral position. We'll stay here for a few breaths. And on your next inhale, let's lift that right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee, step the right foot up in between the hands, lower the left knee down, left shoelaces down. And from here, let's inhale, bring our hands up towards the sky, coming into a nice low lunge. So making sure the right knee is stacked over the right ankle, making sure the hips are in one line. So for a lot of us, this might mean drawing our right hip back and our left hip forward and keeping that core just slightly engaged. Again, make sure to breathe. And on your next exhale, let's bring the hands together at our chest and then we'll twist to the right Letting the left elbow rest on the right thigh. Pushing the hands together here. And 
Inhale, come back to a little lunge. Exhale, plant the hands and we'll step it back to the downward facing dog. Breathe. Let's take it over to the other side now. Inhale, lift that left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the left knee. Step the left foot up in between the hands. Lower the right knee down, right shoelace is down. Inhale, rise up, nice low lunge. Again here, keeping the left knee over the left ankle, hips in one line. So for some of us, this may mean to draw our left hip back and our right hip forward just a little bit. Core slightly engaged, breathe. Awesome stretch for the hips and the psoas muscle. And on your next exhale, bring the hands together and we'll twist to the left, letting the right elbow rest on top of the left thigh, hands pushing in together. Inhale, come back to a little lunge. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back to downward facing dog. Breathe. From here, let's heel toe, heel toe, walk the feet up behind the hands. And we'll take a forward fold here and keep the knees bent generously. Letting the weights of the shoulders just fall into the mat here. And from here, tuck the chin into the chest, keeping the knees bent. We'll slowly start to roll it up. Stacking the spine, the chin is the last lift. Coming into a mountain pose, roll your shoulders back, hands down by your sides, breathe. Awesome job, you guys. So from here, we'll come into a tree pose. So let's start by bringing the feet together here and then shifting all the weight into the left leg. And then from here, we'll begin to bring the right foot up. So a couple options here. You can either rest your right foot into your left calf, or you can bring the right foot up into the left thigh. Just make sure you avoid the left knee. You want to protect the knee here. And then wherever you are, let's bring the hands together at your heart. Again, pushing the hands together here. Come back to your breath and see if you can try and find a steady gaze out in front of you. This will help keep your balance. If this is just too easy for you, you can also bring your hands up towards the sky. And wherever you are on your next exhale, bring the right foot down, give the legs a little shake, and we'll take it over to the other side. So placing all the weight into the, the right leg, and then again, bringing the left foot into the right calf or the right thigh. Just make sure, you, make sure you avoid the right knee. Again, come back to your breath. Bring your hands together at your heart and breathe. Again, option, bring your hands up towards the sky, looking at a steady gaze out in front of you. And then 
exhale, slowly release, give the legs a little shake. Now from here we'll come into a wide-legged forward fold. So let's bring the feet out wide, about three or four feet wide, taking up lots of space here, keeping the hands on the hips. We'll start to bend down and we'll come about halfway and we'll just pause here, try and keep a nice straight back. And then exhale, you can plant your hands into the mat. And if you are flexible, some of us may be able to bring the crown of the head to the mat. If you're like me and you're not quite there yet, that's okay. You should feel an awesome stretch in the legs here. Now from here, very mindfully, start to shimmy your feet together. And we'll take another forward fold here, keeping the knees bent. And when you're ready, tucking the chin into the chest, slowly start to roll it up. Again, chin is last to lift. Roll your shoulders back at the top. Great job, you guys. From here, let's come back to the top of our mat. Feet are together. And we'll inhale, bring the hands up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back to plank. Lower knees, chest, chin to the mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Keeping the gaze down, exhale, come back to downward facing dog, breathe. From here, let's inhale, lift that right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee, and this time bring the right knee behind the right hand. Extend that left leg out long, coming into a pigeon pose. So keeping the right foot flexed here. So a couple options here, if this is enough for you, keeping the palms of the hands or the fingertips in the mat, by all means stay here. Or if you want to go a little bit further, you can come on down to the forearms. Or if you want to go even further, you can Come all the way down, bringing the forehead to the mat. If you have a block, you can place it underneath the right glute here. On your next exhale, slowly start to release. And when you're ready, let's make our way back to downward facing dog. From here, let's inhale, lift that left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the left knee. This time, bring the left knee behind the left hand. Extend that right leg out long, keeping that left foot flexed. Maybe you notice how this side is a little bit different. Again, keeping the palms or the fingertips in the mat. If this is enough for you, just stay here. Or bring it down to the forearms. Or all the way down, letting the forehead rest in the mat. Just honor your body. Accept where you are today.
exhale, slowly, mindfully start to release. We'll come back to downward facing dog. And once we're here in down dog, let's lower the knees down, bringing the knees as wide as the mats, coming into an extended child's pose. So extending the arms along, letting the forehead rest in the mat here. And then in this child's pose, see if you can start to slow down your breath even more. So one of the things I like to do to slow down my breath is trying to inhale for six seconds and exhale for six seconds and just trying to maintain that six and six breath. Maintaining your breath, let's now make our way onto our backs. Take your time getting there. And then once you do get there, let's bring the knees into our chest and wrap the arms around them, giving ourselves a nice big hug. Feel free to rock side to side, massaging the spine if that feels nice. Now from here we'll make our way into happy baby, so grabbing the soles of the feet with your hands and then bringing the soles of the feet up towards the sky, try and draw your shoulders back here and try and do your best to make sure your full spine, especially your lower spine is firmly rooted in the mat. So if your lower back's kind of coming up off the mat, see if you can draw it down if you can. Inhale for six seconds, exhale for six seconds. Exhale, let's bring the soles of the feet down to the mat. And from here we'll make our way into bridge pose. So on your next inhale, let's lift the hips up towards the sky, shimmy the shoulders underneath you, clasp the hands together, and we'll just breathe here. On your next inhale, let's bring the hands up towards the sky, come up onto the tippy toes, and then exhale, slowly lower the spine back to the mats, and we'll take a constructive rest by placing the feet as wide as the mats, letting the knees knock in towards each other. One hand can rest on your belly, the other on your heart.
Awesome job, you guys. From here, let's come into Recline Butterfly. So bringing, bringing the soles of the feet together, letting the hips open up naturally, letting the knees open up wide. You can keep one hand on your heart, the other on your belly, or you can have your hands down by your sides. Inhaling for six seconds, exhaling for six seconds. Now from here, let's start to extend the legs out long, extending the arms out long, taking up space, coming into final Shavasana. Letting your body and your mind reap all the benefits of your practice today. I encourage you to stay here in Shavasana for as long as you like, or if you want to, we can rock up, back up into the seated position where we started. And wherever you are, let's bring the hands together at our hearts. Thank you all so much for joining me today, for sharing your time and your energy with me. And like I said in the beginning, if you are ever feeling symptoms of depression and anxiety, Feel free to always come back to this video. I've been there before myself. I got you. And if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. That really supports the channel. I really appreciate it. And when you're ready, let's bring the hands together at our third eye. The light in me honors the light in all of you. Thank you so much. Namaste.